Nuki Village time! Before we meet up with the inhabitants themselves, you want to go right where you'll see a new enemy called an Ice Choo Choo. Now, I was walking around this thing trying to show that they also will jump at you now, unlike the red ones, uh, but this particular one did not jump at me, so whatever. You don't actually want to attack them with your sword, though, because you'll get frozen. To defeat them instead, you need to stun them first with a whirlwind, and then attack them with your sword. Not a big deal, you just need to watch out for that whenever you see them. Further to the right, you'll encounter another new enemy called a White Wolfos. Now, in general, the easiest way to take care of them is to run away and then use a well-timed spin attack so that you attack them as they're jumping at you. After you've defeated them, inspect the stamp station behind the trees in the top right corner of the map. In the center of the village, you'll see another one of those rocket-looking stones that's playing a melody. You want to tap on it and then play the tune on your flute to learn the Song of Discovery. Although we won't use this for a while, it is handy to uncover some optional really valuable treasure later on, but it is required for one particular part of the game, so we do need to get this. But don't worry, if you don't get it now, you can also get it later. There's a, actually a convenient place to get that down the road as well, but if you get it now, you can get some treasure along the way. Alright, at this point we're given the task of putting the Anuki in pairs, and of course there's only one possible answer for this. Now you can run around and talk with the different Anuki to get some humorous conversation that's actually quite enjoyable. Um, however, it is quite time consuming, so I will not actually be including it in this walkthrough. I'm just going to skip ahead to the answer. Now I have a summarized version shown on the right of what they all say. You can write them down if, if you like to try and figure out this puzzle on your own and pause the video real quick. Uh, using the process of elimination, you'll quickly discover there's only one possible pairing that will satisfy all of the furry dudes. Once you have the answer, you need to head back into this building and speak with Honcho to unlock the cave to the west.
giant rock spider thing. Yeah, I, I hate it when those things come after me. It happens all the time. <laughs> uh, I don't actually have that much advice about this thing. It's pretty self-explanatory. You just tap on the eye like crazy, and uh, hopefully you hit it enough times to knock it down and push it back further. In general, um, it comes at you fairly slowly, and it takes about six hits every time, every wave, I suppose you could say, uh, and that will knock it down and push it back further. Near the end, it starts moving faster, and then it takes four hits to knock it back. Um, but yeah, you just tap like crazy and shoot its eye. <laughs> I love how anticlimactic way this thing dies. It's all <laughs> poof. <laughs> anyway, once you pop up on the other side, we'll then find ourselves in the snow sanctuary slash snowfall sanctuary. Now, before we tackle this area, I do just want to point out the loan shop over here on the right. The Anuki in here is separated from the rest of its people. Kind of depressing. <laughs> I also think it's kind of strange that they set up shop way out here and not, you know in town where people would actually buy stuff. Uh, it just seems a little weird. Now since we have money, it may be wise to stock up on some prize postcards, or if you need, you know, another potion or whatever, if you're in dire need of that, this would be a good time to snag one. The main thing I actually wanted to point out is that there's a heart container here for sale for the hefty price of 2,000 rupees. Yeah, I can't quite afford that yet. Keep that in mind though, so that once you're rolling in the rupees, you can come here and snag that real quick. I just have a quick message for all you out there who are not planning on filling up your stamp book. You're walking past this and you want to use your stamp book. You're looking at that stamp station and going, uh, I don't know, I didn't want to, but it's so convenient and it's, it's right there. Well, watch this. I'm going to show you how awesome this is. Pull out that stamp book and the page is all like, what's going on? I don't understand. You're like, mm, I just stamped that page just like that. Stamped all over it. Just that page just got stamped stamped away. It's so awesome. I do it again, except I can only have one of each. It's like a magic stamp. I stamp somewhere else and it just disappears. Moves over. But yeah, that was, that was awesome. You should do it. So remember these ice choo-choos will freeze you if you strike them with your sword. Instead, you can blow them around with the whirlwind to stun them, or just get them out of the way so that you can pass through. <laughs> This cave here has a puzzle to open the next door, and once we start the timer, we need to get to the other side without any of the statues seeing us. Pretty simple, this is one of those puzzles where they are encouraging us to use our map feature to draw lines. You want to press the A button or down on the D-pad to bring it up. I'm actually just going to use some fancy image work after the fact, uh, but you get the idea. This is the correct path we need to take to get to the other side. So this next Locomo duet is where people start having trouble with a flute because now we have some triplets in their music terminology, meaning we need to play some half beats. Now I have the beats shown on the screen to hopefully make this a little easier to comprehend exactly when you need to play. Also keep in mind that while you're practicing you can play right over top of Steam to make uh, copying him a little bit easier, so you can copy him exactly. So it's a pretty cool little technique to make that uh, easier for you. Just keep in mind though that when you are playing the actual song, obviously you need to only play your part and not play over top of him.
Before we go too far ahead, there is another rabbit available to the right. This is the second rabbit in the Snow Realm, and also the sixth rabbit we've gathered total. There's also a new enemy in this area, the Sir Frosty, and they can attack you every few seconds, throwing their giant snow boulder heads at you, which regrow very quickly. Two shots of the cannon will take care of them, just be ready to shoot any flying heads if they start coming towards you. Our next destination is the Snow Temple slash Blizzard Temple in the top left corner of the map. However, there's currently a blizzard blocking the way there, unless you know the correct path. Now, just get lost otherwise, and if you already know the correct path, you can just go right through, but for the sake of authenticity, I will be taking a detour to learn the trick from Ferris to get through the blizzard. To eventually reach this stop here called Wellspring Station slash Icy Spring, there's a lone boxcar thing, and inside you'll find the possible locations where Ferris is hanging out, and he's the guy who knows how to get through the blizzard. Mark your map if you feel the need, it's just to the east of here, so the locations are pretty obvious. So Ferris is taking pictures of the Dark Train, and he can be found in three different locations, all on the right side of the Snow Realm. It's random which one he'll be at, and having played this a few times, I have actually seen him at all three locations at different points. However, most often I have seen him at the south one, which is why I'm heading there first. Uh, I didn't actually know if he'd be there or not, but sure enough, he'd be easily excitable photographer was there for me. Notice here that I'm passing by a gate. Now, we can't actually use this one here yet, but once we find the other end, we can activate it and use it. If you want, you could take this time to mark your map, though. <laughs> So when Ferris shows you the old map he found, you need to blow into the mic to remove the dust. Once you have it uncovered, you can copy the path to your own map if you'd like. I'm not going to for the simple reason that the uh, conversation ends quickly and then you can set your route, so I think I can remember it for that long. Trace the correct path through the blizzard and then enjoy the ride. Don't set the DS down though, there's more than a few Sir Frosties along the way. So that concludes this video folks, join me for the next one and I will show you the inside of the Snow Temple slash Blizzard Temple. See you then.